kids often kids. have a complexion, a color to their skin that can be a sign of something dangerous. You bet, Travis. Now, parents, listen up. It's important. If you note a yellowish color to your, to your baby's skin, that could be a sign of jaundice. And that's really important because jaundice can be very be a big problem. It can be severe if, if it's left untreated. Now, what is jaundice? Basically, babies are born uh, with a little more blood than they need because in the womb, it, the blood needed, needed to be thicker, thicker because they're not breathing. Right. They're, you know, they're getting their oxygen from mom. Once they're born, some of those red blood cells start to break down, and one of the component, components of a red blood cell is something called bilirubin, and it just happens to be yellow. So that circulates in their system and turns the baby yellow. Now, uh, that's a normal process. That happens in all babies, but in some babies, the, the level of bilirubin gets a little bit higher than we would like, and it actually can lead to some severe problems if it gets up to the brain. Mm -hmm. So if you note some yellowness in your baby, call the doctor. Now, it's important to know that it usually doesn't kick in until about day two or three, and often babies are home from the hospital by then, so the, the doctor won't see it because they're not there. So if you see that, make sure the pediatrician sees it. Now, treatments are usually pretty easy. Basically, getting the baby to eat more is the first treatment, because if it's mild, because the bilirubin is eventually flushed out through the stool. So the more they're eating, the more they're pooping, and the faster they get rid of the bilirubin. Now, if it's a little higher and the baby isn't eating very well, you might need something called phototherapy. And it basically looks like a little tanning bed. You can see a picture of that, of that there. That's how it's done in the hospital. At home, they actually can send a little just tanning blanket to, that you can mm -hmm. use at home. Now, if it's pretty severe, and this is, happens a little more in preemies, is you'd need something called an exchange transfusion, right? They actually take out some of the blood and replace it with just IV fluids to kind of thin the blood out a little bit and get rid of that bilirubin faster. And the other thing to look for is yellowing of the whites of the mm -hmm. eye. Yep. Also can be a big issue in adults because if, as an adult you're developing jaundice, usually it's a sign of liver failure, can be a life-threatening situation, you have to get it evaluated by your doctor.